Hey. Perfect timing. I was just going over all the little things that I have to do before I go. Okay. And on the very top of that list is kissing my husband and telling him that I love him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? Um, passport ticket. I've got that. A pic of you so I can share a kiss with you every night. Oh, my goodness. Come here. Come here. Mm. Oh, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too, baby. <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong with you? You okay? No, I'm fine. You're a really bad liar. <laughs> okay, I just got word that I'm on a short list for the next round of layoffs. Oh, no, babe. Yeah, see, I know Hayward's behind it, but when I confronted him, he gave me this crap about the economic crisis. And you're not buying it? See, he's been trying to nail my mom and dad directly, but he can't, so he's using me to do it. Well, wait a minute, what, what are you doing? Hey. I'm not gonna leave you here at a time oh, like no, this. No, 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 you can't. You can't pass up this chance of a lifetime for you. Besides, if I do get laid off, we can use the cash you'll make on the shoot. Hmm? You sure? Positive. Greenlee. It's not too late, baby. I can still cancel my flight. Hmm? I mean, you thought it was silly for a man to pass up an opportunity like this, so no. You're getting on that plane because you're gonna be the next big thing in the fashion world. <laughs> Don't exaggerate, it's just one shoot, okay? See, one shoot is all it takes to blow him out the water. Are you gonna be all right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if the worst happens and I get axed, I'll finally have time to get to some of those projects I've been putting off for the last year, remember? Well, that's not such a bad idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dan is a tsunami. No one is safe in Thanks. David's path of destruction. Yeah, well, if you're anywhere near the Hubbard family, batten down the hatches. Well, I hate to say it, but I think you're right about it being personal. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind. The man has voodoo dolls of both my parents, and whatever respect he had for my skills, it's long gone. I'm sorry. See, I shouldn't be laying this on you. Oh, please, how many times have you let me spill on your shoulder? Anyway, it's not like I haven't been through David hell myself. <laughs> Who hasn't? Look, the hospital can't afford to lose a doctor of your caliber, and deep down, David's got to know that. So you think this firing threat is a scare tactic? Yeah, absolutely. Look, the rest of the board will never let him follow through with this. Well, David has a way of making people do what he wants, even if they don't want to. Look, I'll protest, okay? Signs, petitions, I will rally outside of the hospital if I have to. <laughs> Look, you just keep doing the amazing job that you do. Even he won't get in your way. Jack no, if I get cut, I guess I have to trust that there is something better around the corner. Frankie, it hasn't even happened yet. Yeah, I know, I'm just trying to prepare myself, that's all. Okay, well, staying positive is the only way. That and lots of beer and pizza. Oh, is that your recommendation, doctor? <laughs> you are the doctor. Yeah, maybe not for long. What, am I gonna have to give you daily pep talks to keep you from plummeting to the depths of depression? You may, but you're gonna regret taking me up on my offer to stay here. <sighs> Honestly, it just reminds me how lucky I am to be in a good place. Oh, rub it in, why don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just so nice for my life to be running smoothly in all areas for a change. <laughs> you know, my place is almost ready, and between getting my old job back and my new relationship, trip to New York. And you're on fire. We get it. And I'm not. So would you... Sorry. Down? Sorry. Look, I'm just kidding. I hope you know that. Because you deserve it all. Well, thank you. So, you and Ryan are together in the Big Apple. You sure you're ready for a step this big? It's a business trip, and Ryan already made it clear that I have my own suite. Mm -hmm. So, that mean, I guess it's up to you if you want it. And if I don't? Like I said, big step. It is, you're right. But surprisingly enough, I'm not even worried about it. I really feel like I'm a part of Ryan's life. 
That's pretty serious. After this weekend, it might be even more so. What is that supposed to mean? It means that I think this trip might just take my relationship with Ryan to a whole new level. You shouldn't be here. 